what's up, YouTube? Spike Man Dan coming at you live. You're watching Spike TV, first network for men. Welcome to my channel. Alright, so I got a little discussion about the uh, cell phone handlebar mount. It's a terrible video shot, and I will show you guys a video clip. Stick around.
see we made it to Blackbridge. Let's head back. All right, so this is a shot about the uh, cell phone video clip mount. Not the greatest in the world. It's it's a horrible shot. If you plan on riding with a mini bike, trying to get any sort of video footage with it mounted to your handlebar, it's not going to work out. Not whatsoever. But the uh, plus side is you'll be able to have a cell phone mount to hold your phone and give you GPS speed recordings so that's a plus so it's not a complete waste of a three dollar purchase sort of say on eBay but yeah we're trying to get a uh, more sophisticated uh, way to vi videotape the uh, what you say uh, video recordings of me flying down the road. I'm trying to get everything put together here. Uh, it's just time and money and my channel is doing okay. I'm, I'm not complaining. Like everybody starts off small and gets big, right? <laughs> Hopefully I get a bigger house because holy shit this place is small. I mean, come on, my frickin' toolbox is inside the house. My mini bike is inside the house. I should be in a frickin' garage. Not a goddamn frickin' one bedroom, one bath house. This is ridiculously small, so... I'm trying. You know, everybody knows the struggle is real. So, with that being said, I'm gonna take this uh, little mini bike to the next level. And like I said, like the Predator is willing and ready. It, I just, it's the whole deal with uh, me making my promise to everybody on YouTube that it's not going to go on this bike until it is stage three. But there's, there's no reason I can't just you know, absolutely modify the total craziness out of this engine right here. I'm thinking about putting the 18 pound valve springs in and seeing what that does to it. But I'm a little skeptical because compared to that engine over there, the 212 and the three horse, stock three horse that comes on the uh, Coleman CT100U, which I have turned into a sport. It's got a uh, jetted out carburetor, aftermarket header pipe, aftermarket performance muffler. I tried it both ways and it's so much better with the uh, muffler on it because you get the little back pressure and it's not so obnoxiously loud. And, oh, oh shit. What the fuck? Excuse my language. Sorry about that, everyone. But, uh, there appears to be a missing sprocket. We'll get back to that shortly. So, as you can see, I have properly installed the new sprocket. Along with making sure the clutch and the chain are properly lubricated. This thing is spinning just absolutely magnificently. So yeah, we're not missing any of that. And uh, according to the last video, this thing right here made a terrible video quality on shooting the uh, mini bike road adventure. But... It makes an excellent GPS speedometer. I did notice that. So, new chain is in the toolbox. This is still the uh, stock original chain, but I have a new chain in the toolbox. Along with the Predator waiting to be upgraded and all that good stuff. So, we got a lot of things going on here. And more is to come with the uh, 
18 pound valve spring. I don't even know if these are the right diameter springs for this engine. I'm going to have to look into that, just FYI. If anybody else has any sort of comments on whether if they know these 18 pound valve springs are the same diameter as the 212 before I even start tearing into this, please let me know. And you could also email me at www. Oh wait, what am I saying? Uh, just email me at uh, spikemandan420 at gmail.com. That's what I meant to say. So, yeah. With that being said, my name is Spike. And I salute thee, whoever watches this. And do not forget about the free sticker giveaway. Email link will be down below.